Yours and warmest regards, Glenn Sturgis. Hi, Amy. Thanks for looking out for me all these years. Um, you were kind of like a second mom to me. You taught me so much. And now that you're moving away, it's kind of like you're saying, okay, Cheyenne, like, you know it all now. You have nothing left to learn. You know, for me, this has always just been a job. You know, a job I hated. What? I clock in, do as little work as possible, clock out. And that's still going to be the case, but I'm just going to hate it a little more without you here. Amy, I don't, uh, it doesn't ring a bell. There's an Amy that works here, uh, Cloud9. Um, just kidding. <laughs> Dumb joke. Um, anyway, congrats. Uh, you're, you're awesome. You're the best thing that ever happened to me. I love you. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I, I don't really need to say goodbye, so I will just say see you in California. Can't wait. Aww. Okay, my turn. Guys, best part. Amy, you've done so much for me. You gave me this job. You've helped me through some some hard times. And if it weren't for you, I never would have met my boyfriend. Right? Because even though I said, stop, I'm not going to date your brother, <laughs> even when it became a clear HR violation, it is. just kept pushing. And Amy, you were right. Who can say oh. if I've been changed for the better? Because I knew you, because I knew oh. you, because I knew you, I have been changed for good. That'll do, pig. Excuse me?